So we've got the front end all done, ready for paint. It's just been a little too cold outside to get any painting done. So we got a little bit of cross racing in. We braced up where the rack is gonna go. So that's all done. And we're waiting for it to warm up so we can get that painted. And one of the updates was changing the rear sprocket to a replaceable sprocket on the rear end. So we've got all the parts sitting here for the rear end. We thought we'd go through it real quick on, on how it goes together. So we've got all our parts here, and what we've done is we've got a couple of large bearings, and we have some we have some um, hubs from Go Power Sports that we've used. And what happens is these fit inside this bearing, and so we didn't take this one off this hub, so that'll fit inside each bearing. We've got our sprocket adapter that we made. We won't put that on there real quick. And then we've got the um, shaft for the middle that's gonna go across here. So this is how this spool sets up. Now the bad part of, this is a very cheap, a good way to do a spool. Um, sits in there nice, very compact. Remember, we'll put that hub in here and we'll have the locking collars for the bearings. But the bad part about it is you have to have a separate chain tightener. So we have Go Power Sport hubs, uh, I think they're four by 100 hubs. And then we've got the Miata axles. If we come out here, this machine's using the Mini Cooper um, hubs on there, and they spline up with the Miata axles. Now, one thing, if we look in here, they don't touch. So we don't get any preload on that bearing. If you try to use this, this thing will just wobble. So we had to make a spacer in here, and we have this spacer that sits in here and the hub goes on and then when we tighten the nut it presses up tight here and it preloads that bearing. So in this case this hub is just going to bolt into the swing arm. Very simple way to uh, set it up. Bolts in here from the inside. The axle goes in. Makes a nice tidy rear end. So we're going to go get, get this installed now that we've explained it. So we've got the two uh, bearings mounted in here in the cart and then on this particular axle, Miata axle, we have the hub already bolted on the Miata hub or the uh, the Go Power Sports uh, go-kart hub and so we can just push this through and then line it up into the bearing here and it should go in there and then the next step is to um, put the shaft in and the shaft's gonna come in from this way and we need to get the hub for the sprocket. Uh, we need to bolt up the hub. We'll get that hub bolted up on there and then we'll drop the sprocket in and we'll move forward. So we've got the new hub mounted on the sprocket. Uh, we had to take a second and paint it. We forgot to paint it. So we're back at it. We're gonna put the shaft in and the new sprocket in. See if we can't get this all dropped in together. fits in um, so we're locked into place here and then the next thing is got to get the bearing collar on for this side and I'll just set it on the hub it might be easier and then we've got to get the hub coming on here and we've got to get it tapped into the tapped into the bearings Looks like we're lined up pretty good. Uh, we'll drop the other axle in and we'll finish up the assembly. We've got the rear end all put together. It spins nice. Um, we're gonna replace the chain. We're waiting for some master links to come in uh, to do that, put the chain on. But we've got everything in. Uh, looks good. You can see how the hubs match up there. Uh, we do get a bunch of travel on these, I think we get about 16 inches on this setup uh, without the shock hooked up. So that's about max, max down there and then all the way up to here. So we do get a lot of travel. 
with this setup so that axle's got enough plunge to go that far with a straight swing arm. So we've got the sprocket out of the machine and we've got it down here in the shop and um, we're taking a look at it. The, we cleaned up the shaft that we had, the stub shaft, it looks good. There's very little wear on it, but uh, if we take it in the sprocket, you can see all the, the looseness in there from the sprocket. It just was loose and loose and loose and loose. So we're getting rid of that and we knew this sprocket had wear on it when we first installed it in the cart. So what we did is we plasma cut out this piece for a sprocket adapter and we did tap the holes and we just um, you know uh, ground off the burrs from the from the tapping process and then we just picked up a W sized hub and that hub is going to pop in and then we'll run a bead on both sides and then that's going to come into our shaft and it's nice and snug on here. There's no play under that shaft and what that's going to do is that's going to allow us then to have a removable sprocket, a much easier setup. So we bought this sprocket, uh, 20 bucks on eBay, and it's just a regular motorcycle sprocket for a Suzuki 600. And then we've got these tapped, and we'll hold those in, but we'll hold that sprocket in. It gives us a nice, easy, removable sprocket without having to break too much stuff apart, versus this one where we're always pounding on the shaft to get the key out. So that's one of the upgrades. The other change we did on this um, sprocket change is we were running a 45 tooth and now we're going up to a, as we can see it's way better, we're going up to a 52 tooth. Um, it was just too fast for where we ride with this 45 tooth. You know the, the cross cart was going about 95 miles an hour and it's just too, just too fast. We didn't need more torque, but it, <laughs> we're going to slow it down a little bit, which is going to add to the torque, so it should be very interesting. cutting a quarter inch on the table to any of any substance so what we cut out we'll just take a look at it grab any of them well, they're falling in on me <laughs> what we cut out was um, a hub for a sprocket assembly remember we're gonna re we're gonna add this hub to the rear axle or the rear spool so we can change and run a motorcycle sprocket the other thing we cut out, if I can get one of them, is we cut out some pedal arms. We're going to weld on some DOM there and we've got some pedals that will mount here. So we've got some pedals that we've got. And then the last thing we cut out of this, this one was just some standoffs for mounting the pedals. So um, it was our first run. We had a little bit too long of a pierce delay and we could run a little bit faster. But again, it was the first uh, production run with quarter inch. Plasma cutter handled it great. So we got the parts for the pedals plasma cut out and we put a couple um, little score lines in here so we could put a little bend on it uh, for the throttle pedal and then we did the same for the brake but we um, did some dimpling here we just took a took a socket set it on the ground and um, set this on the socket and hit it with a punch so we've got a nice little raised surface for a grip there. So we'll get these welded on to the back. Uh, we've got some supports that'll go down here for the piece of DOM that we're going to stick in there. And we'll get those welded up and then we'll be looking at getting them installed. So we got the pedal assembly welded up. Um, here's the throttle pedal. This is where the cable will hook up. And we did put two tabs on here with lock nuts on the bottom. And these will control can control uh, the amount of throw we have. So that'll be forward throw and full deflection throw. So once we get the throttle set, we'll use those to stop it. So on the brake pedal, um, on this plate, we just um, 
mounted the master cylinder then we have the push rod and that'll be our brake so we'll drop this in between the frame and we'll show you how it fits so here's our pedal assembly and it sits in the frame uh, just like this fits in down in here and it'll butt up tight against the old plate so we'll have our throttle pedal and then our brake is set up and we'll come off with a tab here to hold the uh, throttle cable so it mounts into right into here so we'll get that done at a later time when we replace the throttle cable but with that we're going to end the video and we'd like to say thanks for watching till the end and make sure to like and subscribe